We will learn today about Mars, uh, Mars, fourth planet in the solar system in order of distance from the Sun and seventh in size and mass. It is a periodically conspicuous reddish object in the night sky. Mars is designated by the symbol male sign da. Sometimes called the red planet, Mars has long been associated with warfare and slaughter. It is named for the Roman god of war. As long as 3,000 years ago, Babylonian astronomer astrologers called the planet Nurgle for their god of death and pestilence. The planet's two moons, Phobos, Greek, fear, and Dimos, terror, were named for two of the sons of Ares and Aphrodite, the counterparts of Mars and Venus, respectively, in Greek mythology. Planetary data for Mars, average distance from Sunday, Earth 93 million miles. Mars 142 million miles, average speed in orbiting Sunday, Earth 18.5 miles per second, Mars 14.5 miles per second, diameter, Earth 7,926 miles, Mars 4,220 miles, tilt of axis, Earth 23.5 degrees, Mars 25 degrees, length of year, Earth 365.25 days, Mars 687 Earth days, length of day, Earth 23 hours 56 minutes, Mars 24 hours 37 minutes, gravity, Earth 2.66 times that of Mars, Mars 0.375 that of Earth, temperature, Earth. Average 57 degrees Fahrenheit, Mars average minus 81 degrees Fahrenheit, atmosphere, Earth nitrogen, oxygen, argon, others. Mars mostly carbon dioxide, some water vapor, number of moons, Earth 1, Mars 2. Mars facts, did you know about Mars, if don't, we will learn more here with diagrams. Martian moons, the big one, Phobos, distance, 13.8 miles 22.2 kilometers, the small one, Deimos, distance, 7.8 miles 12.6 kilometers. Size, Earth, 7,926 miles, Mars, 4,220 miles, Moon, 2,159 miles. Weight, Earth, 100 pounds, Moon, 38 pounds. If you weighed 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh only 38 pounds on Mars. Distance, Sun to Mars, 229 million miles, Sun to Earth, 93 million miles. Average distance from the Sun to the orbit paths of Earth and Mars. Year, Earth, 365 days, Mars, 687 days, a year on Mars is, almost twice as long as, a year on Earth. Volume of Mars and Earth, IT would take more than 6 of, Mars to fill the volume of Earth. Mass on Earth versus Mars, in case Earth is 1, and, Mars is 1 tenth th, Mars has about 1 tenth of mass of Earth. In recent times Mars has intrigued people for more substantial reasons than its baleful appearance. The planet is the second closest to Earth, after Venus, and it is usually easy to observe in the night sky because its orbit lies outside Earth's. It is also the only planet whose solid surface and atmospheric phenomena can be seen in telescopes from Earth, centuries of assiduous studies by Earthbound observers, extended by spacecraft observations since the 1960s, have revealed that Mars is Similar to Earth in many ways, like Earth, Mars has clouds, winds, a roughly 24-hour day, seasonal weather patterns, polar ice caps, volcanoes, canyons, and other familiar features. There are intriguing clues that billions of years ago Mars was even more Earth-like than today. With a denser, warmer atmosphere and much more water, rivers, lakes, flood channels, and perhaps oceans. By all indications Mars is now a sterile frozen desert, however, close-up images of dark streaks on the slopes of some craters during Martian spring and summer suggest that at least small amounts of water may flow seasonally on the planet's surface, and radar reflections from a possible lake under the south polar cap suggest that water may still exist as a liquid in protected areas below the surface. The presence of water on Mars is considered a critical issue because life as it is presently understood cannot exist without water. If microscopic life forms ever did originate on Mars, there remains a chance, albeit a remote one, that they may yet survive in these hidden watery niches. In 1996 a team of scientists reported what they concluded to be 
evidence for ancient microbial life in a piece of meteorite that had come from Mars, but most scientists have disputed their interpretation. Since at least the end of the 19th century, Mars has been considered the most hospitable place in the solar system beyond Earth both for indigenous life and for human exploration and habitation. At that time, speculation was rife that the so-called canals of Mars, complex systems of long, straight surface lines that very few astronomers had claimed to see in telescopic observations, were the creations of intelligent beings. Seasonal changes in the planet's appearance, attributed to the spread and retreat of vegetation, added further to the purported evidence for biological activity. Although the canals later proved to be illusory and the seasonal changes geologic rather than biological, scientific and public interest in the possibility of Martian life and an exploration of the planet has not faded, during the past century Mars has taken on a special place in popular culture. It has served as inspiration for generations of fiction writers from H.G. Wells and Edgar Rice Burroughs in the heyday of the Martian canals to Ray Bradbury in the 1950s and Kim Stanley Robinson in the 90s. Mars has also been a central theme in radio, television, and film, perhaps the most notorious case being Orson Welles's radio play production of H.G. Wells's novel War of the Worlds, which convinced thousands of unwitting listeners on the evening of October 30, 1938, that beings from Mars were invading Earth. The planet's mystique and many real mysteries remain a stimulus to both scientific inquiry and human imagination to this day. Ten important dates in Mars history, October 24, 1601, Tycho dies, torch passed to Kepler, Johannes Kepler, oil painting by an unknown artist, 1627. In the cathedral, Strasbourg, France, it may seem morbid to herald the death of a famous astronomer as an important date. Undoubtedly, Tycho Brahe was extremely valuable to science while he lived, he created the most precise observational instruments of his time, the best until the invention of the telescope, and with them conducted meticulous observations of the sky, however, Tycho jealously guarded his data, especially from his assistant, Johannes Kepler, whom he set to the task of fitting Mars's orbit into his celestial model, in which Earth was the center of the universe. After Tycho's death, Kepler was able to obtain that data, although he did not use the most legal means. Using Tycho's observations, Kepler discovered that the orbit of Mars, and those of all the other planets, was an ellipse, not a circle, from there Kepler crafted his laws of planetary motion, which describe how the planets orbit the Sun and the solar system and set the stage for Newton's description of gravity. 9. August 6, 1672, Polar Ice Cap Observed Dutch scientist Christian Huygens and his DIY Better Than Galileo's telescope brought clarity to many of the mysterious features of the solar system, including the rings of Saturn. In August 1672 Huygens observed and illustrated a bright spot on Mars, which was later discovered to be a polar ice cap, the question of Martian water would plague scientists centuries later. 8. September 5, 1877, Opposition and Exciting Discoveries Astronomers had been observing Mars for hundreds of years, always concluding that the planet was moonless. It was not until 1877, as Mars was nearing opposition, when it makes its closest approach to the Sun and is on the opposite side of our sky from the Sun, a great time for seeing Mars up close, that Azaf Hall finally spotted one. He discovered Deimos on August 12 and, several days later while observing Deimos, spotted Phobos on August 18. During that same perihelic opposition, Giovanni Schiaparelli mapped the features of Mars and observed the linear structures he named canali, channels. Public imagination ran wild with those canali. Mistranslated into English as canals, and earthlings began to wonder if they might have Martian cousins gathering around red planet watering holes. After decades of theorizing about those features and what they meant for possible life, the canals were discovered to be optical illusions the result of astronomers looking for features at the limit of visual resolution. 7. April 12, 1963, The Air Up There In April 1963 a group of scientists used spectrographic analysis to determine that Mars's atmosphere contained water, long speculated on account of the polar caps found centuries before. 
In the grand scheme of things, there was almost no water at all, much, much less than in the air above Earth's driest deserts. Mars's atmosphere is also very thin and composed almost entirely of carbon dioxide. The hope of having Martian cousins was growing dimmer. 6. July 14, 1965, Encounter with Mariner 4 In 1965, finally, humans made their best contact with Mars to date when a spacecraft from Earth, Mariner 4, flew by the planet. Mariner 4 took the first photos of the Martian surface, which were in fact the first ever photos of another planet taken from deep space. Observers on Earth finally got to see the red planet in all its glory, craters, and all. There were no canals, no water, and no Martian inhabitants, merely a moonlight cratered world. 5. November 14, 1971, Mariner 9 comes to visit. On November 14, 1971, Mariner 9 became the first spacecraft to orbit a planet when it entered the orbit of Mars. Unexpectedly, Mariner 9 got front row seats to a planet wide dust storm. It also discovered major features like volcanoes, canyons, weather, and ice clouds. One canyon, 2,500 miles, 4,000 kilometers, long, was named Valles Marineris in honor of the pioneering spacecraft. In nearly a year of orbiting, Mariner 9 was able to capture more than 7,000 photos of Mars and imaged about 80% of its surface. 4. July 20, 1976, Viking 1 makes contact. Viking 1 was the first American spacecraft to land on the surface of Mars. From its Martian home, Viking 1 and later its twin, Viking 2, beamed back images and weather data and conducted experiments for six years, even though the mission had been planned for only 90 days. Scientists discovered that Mars has different types of rocks, potentially from different points of origin, and that Mars has seasons and calm winds at night. For the first time, Earthlings could imagine what it might be like to crunch along the planet's rocky soil and feel its tumultuous winds. 3. August 7, 1996, Life. Or something. While orbiters and landers proved definitively that Mars harbored no humanoids, speculation remained as to whether tiny life forms such as microbes might be lurking on or beneath Mars's surface. A revelation seemed to come when a group of scientists announced on August 7, 1996, that they had found a meteorite from Mars in Antarctica that contained microscopic Martian fossils. Obviously, that announcement launched much fanfare, public debate, and speculation. Intense study of the meteorite and its contents revealed that the fossils were likely the result of some natural process and not the remains of life. Nevertheless, the claimed finding spurred discussion about whether we would know how to recognize alien life if we did find it and the mother of all questions, what is life? Really? 2. July 4, 1997, Pathfinder blazes a trail, much had been learned about Mars from orbit and from landers, but until July 4, 1997, nothing had trod the planet's surface. On that date, Mars Pathfinder landed and released a tiny robotic rover, Sojourner, the first object to cruise the planet. Sojourner was designed to operate for seven days, but ended up going for 12 times that long, sending back images and data about Mars's wind and weather and conducting experiments on its soil. More importantly, the Pathfinder mission proved that landers could be more economical than the astronomically, pun intended, expensive Viking mission and paved the way for future rovers in subsequent decades. 1. September 28, 2015, Liquid at Last, another orbiter made history on September 28, 2015, when NASA scientists announced that spectra taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter showed liquid water flowing on the planet's surface. It was thought that the water was uninhabitable, but questions remained about its source. Was it coming from underground, or perhaps condensing from the air? With the idea of manned missions to Mars, 